<laughs> this one over here, yes. Yeah. Um, I, I don't want this to sound like too much of a complaint, but <laughs> some of us can't stay up all night. And <laughs> really like, I mean, to the degree that you can control it, to shift things around so the main performers are at a slightly more more reasonable hour. Than yeah. this one. First, so the first thing, um, the gist of the question for those in the back is. Uh, Yes, that, that uh, we have late shows and that not all, not everyone can stay up until 1.30 a.m. So I have, I have trouble doing it yeah. myself. My uh, bedtime is about 9.30. The first thing, you don't put something called management Q&A on the <laughs> schedule without anticipating some, some questions like that. Yeah. And that's great. Especially so uh, it's kind of the same answer in that we yeah, selected this cruise, this six-night cruise, because uh, just it was such a great value, we felt. Uh, and then we work with the ship to get times. And because it's a more compressed time schedule than on a seven-night or eight-night, it was harder for them to give us the spaces that we really needed at the times we wanted. Yeah, we're competing with the rest of the ship and other events and such. And because yeah. And same too with um, with sort of the schedule moving around. It's actually kind of fun that it's in different places, but certainly having uh, so many events so late is something that we are hoping to not do. Uh, and it's something we years. always attempt to minimize every year. And believe it or not, this schedule is the result of a lot of, like this is after we have gone back and forth and negotiated and moved some things and gotten some things improved. Mm -hmm. um, I'm curious to I'm curious to know from from you guys, uh, and this is obviously not a very scientific way of figuring out how almost a thousand people feel because there's <laughs> <laughs> only like 50 of you here in this room. Uh, but uh, you know, in terms of the, we try to keep a nice balance between uh, you know events, performer, official events that are our events, and leaving the space to enjoy the cruise and sit by the pool and. Uh, you know, we try not to over-program, but we also try not to uh, make anybody feel like they've spent a lot of money on this cruise and where are all the performers, you know? Yeah. So, how many people feel like the balance is, uh, well, how do I do this now? <laughs> <laughs> the balance. So early. Is that the balance between events and vacation? Is that what you're getting at? Yes, that's right. How many, how many people, let me do it this way, how many people would like more events <laughs> you know, hands, hands in the air. Okay. How many people would like more vacation? Oh, nobody. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, oh. Uh, how many people how think it's perfect? perfect? Okay. Oh. Let me ask this, uh, going on this theme, we have also consciously tried to not schedule events during port. Yeah, that's the thing. Because we, we never want to make people no. choose, especially the, the events that feature you know, the big stage headline talent. Yeah. Uh, we don't want to make people choose between, you know, seeing one of those shows and going to the beach or activities. Because um, we understand that, you know, compared to, say, a regular convention on land somewhere, we are asking people to pay quite a lot more money. Uh, and so the, the theory behind it has always been we want people to feel like this is sort of a convention, but there's also a vacation built into it. So how many people would not care if we scheduled a big show during a porn stop. And by the way, you'll probably see most of these questions in our exit survey uh, this year. Can right. add something? Yes, please. Um, if you do that, then you need to promote it before us obsessive compulsive people uh, book our things. Yes, yeah, if, if, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. If, you, if you're here to see Peter, Peter Sagel and then we surprise you and schedule Peter Sagel at some time when you've already got a uh, dolphin push pull happening. We should do a Peter Sakel push pull. That would be adorable. That's on the books. That's happening next week. Pool. Push it, people. Just the main deck pool upstairs. You don't know that we can talk him into it for this year. He's going to swim under you. Yeah, hold your right hand out. He's very gentle. <laughs> grab, grab, grab him by the dorsal fin. Toss him a fish. Toss him a fish. Okay, now everybody applause. 
That, that would be the greatest Shadow Cruise event. It's a performer push pull. Yeah. All performers in the pool push some, people around. Wait, wait, don't push me. Wait, 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 don't push me. See, this is now it's working. <laughs>